Okay, so this video is a request from Ira from www.trs80.com. He asked me a question about what we can do when these two brightness and contrast controls are stuck. And so what I've got here is a Model 3 which I bought recently and it's obviously been left out in the rain. I'm actually going to strip this one for parts because it's just a bit manky. But anyway, so what I've done is uh, turned out that power supply didn't work. This one did, so I've connected it up to the motherboard and the um, the video uh, power for the CRT and what we get typically on these machines which have stuck contrast and brightness controls is a big white screen like so it's probably flickering like mad because my camera doesn't have much of a uh, for a fresh rate looks a bit better so it looks like the brightness is turned right up and the contrast, we can't see anything. So these guys here are both stuck. Now, you can buy replacements. One's 500 ohms, the other one's 500k ohms. But if you want to see if they will work to confirm if that's the problem you're having with your Model 3, you can just spray some isopropyl alcohol like that into the switches which should loosen them up um, a couple days after the isopropyl alcohol um, dries off the controls will stick again but you'll at least know if they are the problem and then source replacements so the first thing to remember to do is to switch the computer off which I've done and if it's an Australian one, like this one is, pull out the power cord. We get our isopropyl alcohol and right into the guts of the switches we spray some in. And then we leave it for about 5 or 10 minutes to do its work. So at this point I'm going to cut the video and we'll come back in about five minutes when it should have loosened them up we can see if that's going to fix the problem okay so it's been about five minutes since i've sprayed some isopropyl alcohol into these switches on this manky old model 3 let's have a look yeah so that's now turning smoothly that one's a little bit more difficult to turn but it's not too bad. So, moment of truth, we'll fire up our Model 3. I'll just reconnect the, its power. Okay, so, so that's what we saw before, it's a big white raster on the screen so as I turn that one the raster goes away I'll turn the contrast up and there we are we can see the computers working Oops. so it's actually not bad Considering that it's spent some time in the rain and all, CRT and electronics work, the motherboard works, one of the two power supplies work, uh, the disk drives I haven't checked out. So that's how we get these unstuck isopropyl alcohol in there. Um, now that we've confirmed that um, the system works, if I were restoring this computer, I would now replace these with new ones so that they don't um, 
seize up again. Uh, after a few days after the isopropyl alcohol in there evaporates, they will probably event they'll probably either seize up again or be really difficult to turn. But that's a quick way to um, fix the controls temporarily uh, on your Model 3 or Model 4 computer and confirm that your machine works. So there you go. Thanks for watching.